Um, I didn't read any longs. There's two two decent shorts, so yeah. I want to be aggressive on this, but it could it could go. It could go because the market's going to go today. And a weird gap down. Market's going to go today in a strange looking gap down. <laughs> All right. So, DB, you can do. I put the numbers in the room. This is 40 cents from the target. This probably got a rally first. 14 seems very far away now. You could use maybe 13.75 ish for a stop. But. I would do this aggressively until it rallies, and it could drop right to the target and then flip. Was going to do that, but only because I wasn't liking the Oracle, and now all of a sudden I am liking the Oracle. So let's just do Oracle. Pretty much was my plan of action all, all week anyway. Here, I have new targets. Um, do, do, do. Figure it out. Well, we still have to use 39, unfortunately, as the first number. This could go down here, though. So 39, 38.75. Let's look here at this. I want this to open and go right away. I don't know if it's going to happen. In an ideal world, this opens and goes immediately now. I don't even want it to go up here. Mm, let's see what this does. So, 40 is off. Let's say. In an ideal world, this opens and breaks right away. Let's see if it does. Some people had asked some questions about other stuff. I'll go over that when we're done trading. I'm not going to be in this long today. I'll tell you that right now because of the fact that I think the market holds. I think it holds today. If we actually rally in this gap down today, which I think we might, then I want to be out of a short quickly, meaning in the morning and it is Friday and it has been a slow week. So I think we'll get something today. I just don't think I'll be in it till, till late. Um, this spy looks very strange. People probably look at this as a as a short today, but I don't think it drops. I mean, I've been saying that. And I said the market would hold yesterday. It did. Look at what the movement made. I don't know if anybody went long in the market, but I was like, wow, when I saw the way that we ran up, huge, massive run up. And, we did it, so we're definitely higher. I mean, I can't see how anyone can say we're higher now, but the spy still looks like it's hanging on by a thread, but I think it holds. DB is a valid short. I mean, you can watch it. Just keep in mind it's an ADR. Any questions very quickly? Any questions very quickly in reference to trading in the morning? These things here, gaps, yeah, not general trading questions, which we'll go over later. DB is still a play. I don't think I'm doing it. The only way I won't do this now is if it opens in reverse swishes. I don't think that's going to happen, but I guess we're going to find out in two minutes. Good luck, everyone. Very slow week, but did a good job keeping under control. Did a good job calling plays that I didn't even do because they weren't top notch, but they worked. I rate the gap in the daily chart, Ranjit, and that's how I determine if it's going to work as a short or a long, or if I'm not going to do it at all. But I trade it on the one-minute chart. Oh, this is back up again. Look at this here. Mm -hmm. You know, I am going to put DB over here just in case this does. This, this Oracle's wild this morning. What is up with this? 
I'm putting DB here in the middle because this just retraced again. This is going to be a jumpy thing. So DB's here in the middle. Oracle's here. I have it up first, but I don't know now. Hmm. I'll lecture a little bit after we're done today because I'm not going to be in any short long of the market. And then Paul has a lecture he's going to do at 1030, FYI. Good luck, everyone, now. This needs to thin out. Did I say 3975? Here we are back up again. And I do where the Oracle goes right away. Let's see if it does. I'd give yourself 30 cents for this probably estimate. That's a 20 cents spread. Okay, here we go. Just wait. 39.75, there it is. Let's see. Okay, I don't have the entry for this, but if this hits and a woman alone, I'm going to do it. Stop's going to be 39.80, but don't take it yet. I don't have the entry yet. I don't have the entry yet at all. I'll just wait. It doesn't do anything yet either. Well, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. No, nope, just wait, 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 wait. Okay, nothing set up yet. Just wait. Okay, I'm getting this off here. This isn't doing anything. Okay, stop's going to have to be over 40. We can do 75 by 405. 75 by 405. 75 by 405, Oracle. 75. I think it was 60. Yep. And it's got to be 4005. Okay. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Where did I say? 39. First chart is going to be 39. 3950. That isn't far, but here, let's see what it does. We really gave this a lot of room, actually. <gasps> Woo! Is this wild today or what? Is that real? It must have been. Well, let's see what it does. You can still do it. You can still do it. it. This is wild today. Is this my imagination or did that just touch that three times? I don't think it is my imagination. I don't think it's my imagination at all. Wow. Well, let's find out. Stop 40.05 and you better have it in. Let's look at the market. Market's falling. DB you could do. DB you could do with a tight stop at 13.55. This is trading. I don't understand why this is acting this way. I this is I'm so familiar with the stock. This is the craziest I've ever seen it act. Really gave us a lot of room too. Okay, oh, come on. Okay, I'm probably gonna call this again if this holds in here. But you know, 
If it doesn't hold, I'm not sure if I'm going to redo it because it really needs to hold 40. We could give it 40. We could give it 40 10, but I don't really know if I want to. So keep it at 40 or 5. I think that was an invisible tick. I saw that happen now five times that it touched that number. This is going to break, but it is wild. It just did it again. Is everyone seeing that same thing that I'm seeing? What? That's very unusual. Okay, 81 is a new entry. 405, I'm already in it. 81, 81. This is very wild today, and I'm not certain why. 81 by 405, and I'm already in it. Is this actually only me that's seeing this, or is this actually everyone seeing this? It keeps how it keeps touching that number. Does everyone see it? It was an invisible tick because it's not printing there. There it goes again. There it did it again. Does everyone see that? There it is. It just did it again. Here, 81 by 40 or 5, and I'm already in it. Man, if this breaks the low, it is going to rock and roll. It keeps touching that number. One minute. It's right. You can see it here. I'm already in it, but you can see it. I feel like this is very aggressive, but not really, but kind of. I guess it's a wide stop. No one saw this. I saw it 50 times do a touchdown on here. It didn't print, though. It was an invisible tick. You would have had to be watching my screen live. It never printed, though. That was really crazy. And wow. Did anyone see that or not? No one saw it? That was a little scary. Oh, my Lanta. This was not easy today, people. I hope you did it. There's people long this right now, but you should be short. Here we go. Underneath 39.50, it should go right down now because I think it's really going to go because of the way that I saw it bouncing off that number, even though it didn't print. Here. Let me just see the market quickly, quickly, quickly. All right. Don't know what to do with that. So I'll leave it alone. You could be in this, but it's a baby snail. Oracle. Nope, it didn't do it yet. You didn't do it yet, but you could still take it here. If you didn't take it, I'm already in it. Did a great job here with the stop. 40 to 5. You saw it on my screen, but not yours, Beast Trader. That, I know. It's really unusual. Here, let's just look in here. No, this is going to go. Here. 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 Here we go. And we do have the market a little bit in our favor right now, 936. I don't know if that lasts till 10, though. Here we go. Under 60. Go, go, go. It already broke it by a baby, I think. Not really. Here, let me just see. You can take half out down in there if you want to, but let me just see here. Mostly only because it's being so stubborn. Being very stubborn. Still being stubborn. Okay, we did not really break the low. It did buy a penny. That doesn't count. I didn't get out of any because obviously I'm in it, but... I don't know why it's so wild today. Come on. It's definitely wild. All right, DB. I'm not in this because I'm not doing two things, but if you want to, what did I say? 50, 55? You can put it at 55. Short DB, you could still do it, but it's a baby snail. Oracle is going to work and break. It's just wild. I mean, if it if it if it doesn't go back down again, it's not going to break. But I didn't get out of any. I I mean, there wouldn't be any reason to. And it really looked like it was just going to full on go. But you could have taken a little bit off if you wanted to. But the market is red right now at the moment, so I don't think there's any reason to have done that. 
Here, another train if you want to do it or you're ready in it, you can do here, right here. You can do 75 by 40 or 5. 75 by 40 or 5. Again, I'm already in it. And here it goes. Here, here it goes. Wow. This is a nice call here I made to stick with this. Here it goes. If it breaks the low, it can go right all the way down, which I didn't really do yet. So. <clears throat> here it goes. This was wild in the pre-market. I wasn't going to do it then. Then I decided to do it. Now it's even still wild. It has not stopped being wild eight minutes into the open. Nine minutes into the open. Fighting with itself. It's having an argument with itself. Nobody's winning yet. This looks great, though. All right. Again, let's just review. Stop is 40.05. I can't change it yet. So much for a quick play. Here it is, 10 minutes into the open. Come on, break the low, Oracle. Yes. Do, 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 do. Everyone should have done it. You had three chances. Had to have the conviction today, though, boy. Surprised that I'm. no one saw that. But Galahad's the only one who wrote that he saw the way this kept going. DB, I already called. I can't look at it right now because I'm in this. If you wanted to do it, you want to do it, but it's a baby here. Oracle, nice call. Friday. Hello, weekend here. Let it break. 3940 was the next number, though. Uh, let's, in fact, let's take half out of 3940 because the way this has been so jumpy. Oh, tricky, tricky, faker Rama. Look, I told you. Oh, it's a faker. It's fake city, USA. Look at that market. So tough. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here, Oracle. Oracle was a faker, too, today. Oracle was a fake out with a fake hire. In a big way with those bounces. Yeah, or under 60. You got to know what you're doing. You got to know what you're doing in the gap. It's the gap, 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 gap. Here, under 60. I'm half at 39.40 if it doesn't break it. Which it will. Ranch trigger saw the tick. These traders saw the tech. You could shave a little teeny weeny off here if you want, a third or something, but you can't lower the stop yet. 60. Here it It's going to break. Here it goes. Look at the volume in this for the here. Just this is very interesting. I, I'm just going to talk her like this. This is a lot. It's a lot of volume considering the way it's acted. Hasn't fully gone yet. Broken, and only thirty five cents, thirty seven cents. Massive volume. If this thing is just dying to go. This is a lot of volume, and in that, and with this volume in this short a time, 12 minutes into the open with this volume, and the stock has only moved 37 cents in either direction, that's, this thing is going to explode, and it's going to be to the downside, but it hasn't done it yet. There's a lot of volume. Lots. Here it goes. Oh, not yet. So look at this. Very, very hard here, this market. I mean, it's very tricky. Okay, I didn't do this, but if you did, make sure you have a stop in. If it didn't break the low, be careful with that one. 
this we are in and everyone should be it's the only thing I did today, the only thing we should be doing really because the market's strange. It's going to hold, but it's not yet. It looks like it's going to go lower, but that it doesn't. And then you get sucked in and then it doesn't go anywhere. I didn't say bet the farm on anything today. I haven't said bet the farm on anything except for BABA. Here we go. Here we go. Under 60 Oracle. Let me just drop. My hand isn't even on the jiggy. My hand is sitting in my lap. Just let it break. If you held through it this long, just let it pay you. Let's look at that, but we have time. Here you go. Here you go, Devon. I said, you better, this is it. Your exit in this is today. Here it's pushing up. Maybe you can get it up a little bit, or you run up in here, the more you'll be out right now. This is, you know, don't let this get away from you with only one week left. You got the rally. This is taking a long time. This is the longest of anything in the world. Well, if I had done that Baba on Monday or Tuesday, I could have just done it for one week, but I would have never known to do it. They would run out five dollars in like three days. The stock's so strong though. It's just incredibly strong. Here we go. Oracle. Here we go. This is going to do it. It's going to have a nice flush under the low whenever it happens. Maybe if I just don't speak, it'll happen. There it goes. <clears throat> Half out of 39.40 is my plan of action or... I don't know. If this, if this goes all the way down in the 20s or something, I'll just take the whole thing because it is 946. It could have a big move under the low here. Ranted, I don't know what to tell you. I'm very excited when I trade. I usually am excited when I trade on making money. I don't think that's ever going to go away. I'd love to change my personality for you, but forgive me. It's impossible, nor would I want to for anyone. Sorry to tell you. Nope, this didn't do it yet. Look at it. It is hanging on with for dear life, but it's hanging. QQQs are nowheresville. Can't call this low as long yet. DB, what did it do? Lifted. Obi Wan Kenobi, did you do it or not? Y'all should have done this one. Y'all. <laughs> Cut your girl I am today. Do Bob like my high energy? Thunder likes my passion? No, please do not change. I couldn't if I tried. Oh my goodness, this didn't do it yet. What is the problem? Surf dog, hurry up. Short 10,000 shares of this. Push it down. <laughs> 3925, 3925, 3940, 3925. 3940, 3925. But I really think if it breaks the logo, it's more than 20 cents.
you could definitely get out of some if you're feeling uneasy. I'm not, but I'm just telling you for those of you that, that get nervous being in something long. A long time, I mean, not a long, long. Uh, what happened with that one that somebody liked earlier? What was the one that was the lawn that somebody liked? I forget what it was. INPC, what did it do? Ooh, piece of crap. This looks like a piece of crap. Bake out. And this one, too. I hate these deep pull-ins. And the market hasn't situated itself yet. I won't be long this here unless you're scalping it. Wow, that didn't set up right at all. I said lay off that, too. That was good advice. There was no great long today. If there was, I would have called it. If there was, I would have said it. Oracle. Time of the day is 9.48. All right, let's just look at this. Sixteen fifty nine fifty eight fifty nine. I wanted a quick play today, and now this is not going to be quick. It's ten minutes to ten o'clock. There's no way now. You got out of Oracle because you had to go? Okay, Gator. You look at the clock for a lot of reasons. Reversal times, market, any reports, any econ, what's the stock doing, time of the day. I mean, there's, you got to go somewhere, and there's a million reasons to watch the clock, but you got to watch the clock when you're trading. Here we go. This is this is hard today, people. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, we're in it. We're up. But I'm just saying to, the time it's taking to go is not – in an ideal world for me, in an ideal world, it goes immediately, which this had a teeny weeny little move and looked like it was just going to collapse. And then it did it again. And but do you see, this is fine. This is just I don't know why this is taking so long. No idea. No reason I should change my personality like Tony the Tiger. It's great. Thank you, Jean. If I didn't have the personality I did, I wouldn't have the opportunity to be on to be on television. It's my magnetic personality. La la la. All right, who's in what? I'm in our golf stop so forty oh five. Nothing we can do but sit here and talk and look at ourselves. We could turn on the television. I could sing a song. Paul could lecture me. Get out, get out, get out. I don't know. Here, under sixty two, under sixty one, under sixty. Maybe if I don't talk about it, it'll actually go. Is anyone in anything else? Thunder added. You're getting very aggressive in something that's not amazing. Steel Hearts and Oracle. Journey Women, Stranger 50 shares. That's good. It's a good, solid, solid amount. If you took it up here at 80, you you know, you know might get a good, almost a buck out of it. I took it over here earlier, but if you took it in the 80s, 10 o'clock for the Big Econ. Okay, there we go. We heard from Paul. Give me something else in this sector, because off the top of my head, I'm drawing a blank. Give me something else in the sector of Oracle. Quickly, quickly, quickly. See, this is just isn't going anywhere, though, DV. Do anyone go long IATC? Here, hold on. All right, I'll look at a, a IBM in a minute. You may not need to now. I just wanted to say. Look, massive volume. In, it's, in the entire time we're in, the stock has moved 37 cents, and the volume is now, look at it. It's massive. The volume keeps getting bigger, but it's not moving. That's a sign. It's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in. But you're like, well, which direction? Well, you, that's why you rate the gut. What did I rate this today? 20 points. That's why I don't think anyone should be risking the farm. This isn't 23 or 24 or 25 or anything. This is not a farm risking gap. Not all gaps are created equal. And that's part of the problem some of you have with those options. Baba was the top notch. Can't get any better than that. Never going to see anything like that probably between the hour and the end of the year. 
The other ones, like the Facebook calls, even the second one, not anywhere near like that. You're up in those trades, you got to get out with a profit. Not everything is created equal. You risk more on some trades than others if you see it and it's there. It's not the same thing. They're all plays, but they're not all created equal. Car, I can't look at anything else right now because I think it's going to go. All right, fine. I'll look at this go. There's nothing to gain from that. It's the chlor. Not that I need it, but it's nice to know. Nine fifty four and we're still in a trade. Is it Friday the 13th? It's Friday the 16th. Close enough. Here we go. Under the low, or Oracle. And I mean more than one penny. So I'll tell you a story. I had a great day yesterday. Went to a top-notch fashion show, Mark Jacobs. I don't know if anybody knows the designer. I had a great time. Saw Whoopi Goldberg. She walked right by me, and then I was texting someone, and I, oh, by the time I got up my phone, I take a picture. She was gone. Walked right by me. Didn't take a picture. I was, like, texting, and ah, she walked right by me. It was fun. Under 59, which basically is the low, you can take more, but I wouldn't. Stop to be 40.05. I was joking about singing a song. I haven't sung a song in a long time. <laughs> Acapella, anyways, without without music. <laughs> Unless it's Jingle Bells and it's too early for Christmas. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, the market hasn't found its situation yet. But again, there was something at a 10, so maybe we bounce, maybe we fake lower, maybe we do something, maybe we do nothing. Huge ra rally here on Amazon today. Google lower. Facebook. What was yesterday? Wells Fargo. Let's look at that. No, it was two days ago. I don't even remember now. It's two days ago, Wells Fargo. That looks fine. Invalid shares. I don't know what that means. Are you doing an odd lot? Obi-Wan Kenobi, are you doing an odd lot? You got a call about that. Look how this is really collapsing, this poor Wells Fargo. Uh, you better call your broker. I don't know. Is that you're trying to take an odd lot or something? I don't know what that means for you. No clue what that means. You better call them. If you're in a position and it's giving you a thing, you're trying to get out of it and you can't, you got to pick up the phone or email or call or do something. But I, I, don't, I, I, I didn't tell you to get out of this right here unless you want to get out a little. Maybe if you're trying to get out of like a little, then maybe that's why it's saying invalid. Maybe it's, a, it's an odd lot. Some places you can't do that. I'm almost inclined to lower the stop, but I, I don't really want to. That's the problem. What's the problem?
No, we can't. It's wait till it hits in the 15 minute, but then it'll break. If it does, then we'll lower the stop. Either way. I hate being in trade this late. Like this bar is going to close and soon. Thunder got out. Okay. Just scalp it. If you lost patience, you got to get out. Here, let's go over the daily chart. Let's talk while we're doing this because there's nothing to do. And I took the trade and obviously I had the conviction I wouldn't be in it. The gap raced well. Why it's having a problem with this area, let's try to figure it out. But the bottom line is you can't really lower the stop unless you just want to protect yourself. If you do, you can put it at 85, which is like slightly above uh, where you took it, just a little bit. You wouldn't lose the full amount then. I'm going to try to be patient and wait and see if it sits in the 15 minute. It actually has not triggered yet in the five. So if this triggers on a higher time frame here, then we won't give it a valid place to lower the stop. Every time I've lowered the stop in the, in the past, then it always takes us out and goes on to work. So I'm just going to save the trade. I'm with it for 30 minutes now. Why, why not just stay with it? But I thought we'd be done by now. All right, let's figure out why this is having a problem. It's kind of this area here. It's kind of this area here, right in here. This was a gap down. I'm seeing this. Actually, this was only on Monday, for Pete's sake. It was only a couple of days ago. This did have earnings, but on Monday, it looks like the stock gap down and had the massive rally with the market. This low here is 39.68, approximately where we opened today, and approximately the area which we can't seem to break. Remember, quarter resistance are areas. Eight cents off the number, it's the same number as far as I'm concerned. Look, see, this wants to go. Don't give up on it if you want to make money today. If you've lost your patience or you overslept and you have to go somewhere, then just get out. I mean, you're out money. Go to the gym, okay? I'm trying to stay with it here. I'm trying to stay with it because it's been so good this week. I get a gold star for being disciplined this week. I'm even disciplined now. Here. The stop on Oracle is 40.05. It's not going to get anywhere near that number now. No, nope, this is still not going yet. Look at this. Obviously, Surf Dog didn't short 10,000 shares, like I told him to. <laughs> Kaiser is saying it will break on the SPY break. This has nothing to do with the SPY. This is a gap on its own. And don't think the market's going to break because that's a fake out. If the market would fall off a planet, maybe this would help it, but that's not going to happen, so don't think it will. And gaps are on their own. This has nothing to do with the market. And the market's strong. The market is strong. The market is strong. I've said it 1,000, 1 million, 1 kajillion times. I know we're right today, but we're still strong, people. Here we go, Oracle. 10 o'clock, takes till 10. Here, there we go. Oh, no, it didn't fall on yet. Patience is a virtue. I never in my wildest dreams thought this would take forever today. This is really the longest play of my life. No, it still didn't full on go yet. Okay, because of the time of the day and it's late, I'm just going to let it push down. Not, not here yet, but just let it push, 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 and I'm just going to take the whole thing wherever it goes, which it still didn't do yet. Oh, my land. All right. Well, we were going to talk about this. This is this has it still didn't yet. It still did not. It still did not. It is really struggling with this area, and I never thought it'd be in this trade this late. But really, you could take some out if you're getting tired of waiting. It's really struggling with this area, and I just explained why. It keeps 
testing it and then breaking a little bit, but not getting a full on sell off. And every time and every minute that goes by, the volume is just quadrupling in here. Look at the last time we looked at it, it was six something, then seven and a half. Now it's nine something. Look at it. Ramsey wants to go over the play. He must not have been here. Anyways, I called in here at 75 by 4005. Rallied over the high. Then I called it again, 81 by 4005. So I did the first one. So I said you could have done this again or added here. Galahad and Thunder added. I don't know what Thunder added and then killed it, but either way, I did not do the add in here, but you could have. You could have taken more again at 75 by 4005. So some people have 75, some people have 81. Either way, you're up. But I want to make some money here. So we're, you know, this, there's nothing wrong with this except for it's taking my whole life. First time to listen today, call to get more information later. Yeah, I'll be around today. Beautiful day in New York. You can ask me questions now, Christy, because actually I have nothing to do but sit here and watch this. And somebody asked something earlier about something. Ranjit, what was your question this morning? I may as well answer it now because I, I guess I decided I'm going to try to let this go on so I can talk a little bit. Maybe if, if, if I talk about something other than Oracle, it'll go. What was your question about opening an account or something like that? You open an account with a broker. I can refer you to one, but I don't know what your question was exactly. The minimum account size to trade my system, if you want to do day trading, is the minimum account size any broker would allow you to open to day trade. You have to be able to day trade. That means get in and out on the same day. That means you have to open up an account at one of two places. One will be a retail account, but it will require 25000 in cash deposit. You would get four to one buying power, which would be 100000 in buying power, or you can go to a prop place. You can go to a prop place that requires a minimum of 2500 to open the account. They will give you 10 to one buying power. You'll have 25000 in buying power. Those are your two options. You must go to a place that allows you to actively take trades in and out as a day trader. Unless you want to just do options trades, which I don't do every day, but I do call them, but not every day. So the minimum account size isn't set by me. It's set by the type of place you trade at, whether a prop place or a retail place. Yes, you can open up an account with 5000 at a prop place and you have 50000 in buying power. Now, right now, now, are, Paul, are, are you ordering it to go? Before I fall asleep, or look at the other one. What did DB do? DB finally went. Did it hold 55? It held 55 and 50. Did anybody do it? This is a baby snail, too. I don't think we would have fared any better if we had done that, but that held. That held as well. Oracle's going to have a bigger move if it actually ever moves. But <laughs> DB. <laughs> Finally broke the low. <laughs> you can't shorten your IRA. If you can't shorten your IRA, then you can only go long, yes, unless you do options, you can buy a put, which is a short, same concept. Christy, if you want to use your IRA, you could do it with options, you'd be buying a put, because you'd be buying something. That would be allowable. But as far as actively day trading to the short and doing a short, no, you couldn't do that. You have to go long with an active day trade. And actually, I called along this week. What was the long this week I called? I only remember. What was it? Paul, I forget. Well, you could set it up for options, I'm sure. This is good. As I'm answering questions here now, the stock is holding these area like it wants to go finally. Your other question was, you say it's possible to earn 20000 a month. What account size for this figure is based on, please? You need to be able to risk between $500 and $1,000 a trade in order to make those kinds of numbers. So common sense tells you what. That means you need more than 2500 in account. You can't risk $1,000 in a trade, which is 50% of your account or 45% of your account. You know, so you you would need here here Oracle. You would need an account to withstand that risk size, because you would have to be able to take a risk on one trade in an advanced amount. 
this is that is not a beginner level to make 20 grand a month day trading because it's based on your risk size, it's based on your share size. So you need to be able to take trades and have the cash position plus the buying power. It's not just the buying power, you have to have the cash in there. No, this didn't do it yet. So I'd say if you're at a if you're gonna go to a prop place, you'd be perfectly fine, you know, with 20, 20 grand, between 15 and 20 grand to risk five hundred or thousand dollars at a prop place, and they'll give you like two hundred thousand buying power or something. If you're gonna go to a retail place, you need to have way more than twenty-five thousand to risk five hundred or thousand dollars a trade. I'd say thirty-five, forty grand. Cause you have to have a cushion. And you need the buying power because it's only four to one at a retail place. So if you have 40 grand, four to one is 160. And that's, you know, you're going to need that. So if you, it depends where you want to trade and how much money you have. Does that make sense? Don't get caught up in this, this, don't get caught up in, in immediately running out hog wild though. I think, I think it's better for people, and I said this the other day in the lecture. I don't know if it was Tuesday or Monday or Wednesday or last week. I don't even know anymore. The days run together for me. But, I, you know, don't get caught up in running out and trying to make, you know, X, Y, Z amount of money the first month out of the game. I think it's more important for you to learn what to do and just to get green every day. It's so, it's so unusual for people to even make any money at all consistently as a day trader. Once you can do that, you'll prove to yourself that any amount that you risk, you could make money on. And that is more important and trumps your actual cash amount at the beginning because your confidence level is important, especially if you've been losing. If you've been losing doing things and then you take my class and all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, this works. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're in the room, you're green, or the first month you're green, your confidence will skyrocket. That is more important than making $20,000 the first month out of the game. So if you can't afford to do that with the risk right away, don't even worry about it because I don't think anyone should, even if they have the money. I think you should learn how to do it, be green, prove that you can make whatever amount based on your risk for the first 30 days. And then your confidence will really start to, you will gain confidence. I guess this is my point. And that is something that I, I can't give you. I give you the conviction when I teach you the system and I try to give you confidence by showing you that it works. Today is a good example here. You have to have conviction to do it. Thunder lost the conviction. Gator had to go. So, you know, you, you, this helps you. I understand this. I understand the gap. I know it hasn't gone yet. The only problem I have with this is that I like to be out of trades by 10, but I'm willing to give it a shot because it's been a slow week. Why does or why is Oracle the math of support at 3960? We've been talking about this all morning. I don't know if you weren't paying attention, Kaiser, because of here, because of this, because of this right in here, because the gap down drops bounced on this day back here was only four days ago. Stock hasn't forgotten that. It only happened one, two, three, four, four days ago. People bought this in here. How do I know? Because it got bought. Look at it. Low in the day at 3968, high at 4075. That stock got bought that day. People were long in here. And so it's having trouble with it. It's fighting with itself. People are trying to situate themselves in here. Who's going to be in charge? How do I know? I'm facing it on the gap. Could I be wrong? Yes. But I obviously believe in it or I wouldn't be in it shorter. I would have just killed it by now. Trying to make up my mind if I should take half out, half out though, at, at least because it's getting so late. Do we have the report? Do we have any other econ? Was there any other econ out, Paul? See, this broke 213 and it didn't affect Oracle at all. It still hasn't gone. But anyways, that's why we've been talking about it. This has not full on gone because it's fighting with itself because of this in here. Being green means, uh, no, being green means not break even. Break even isn't green. Green means money, the kind that you pay your bills with. Green means dollars. Green doesn't mean break even, break even, you can't buy a skirt if you're break even. I can't go buy a pair of shoes with break even. I need green. I need money. Using a put to sub for day trade short likely need to be aware of the strike price interval. Yes, that's right, Jane. Well, that's what I'm saying. And look, hello. Should I start singing jingle bells now? Here we go. Oracle. 
just when we're done, when we're off, then I'm going to let you on this and see nothing is happening here of anything in there because, oh, my land's tough. Here, try to let it break 50. But you be, here, you know what? I'm just not going to stay through all, this whole thing through a rally. Just hang with me here because we might be out of path soon, but I'm not yet, not yet, not yet. 10 15. This is going to go. This is going to go. I knew it. <clears throat> this is going to go. Look at the rubber band. It's really going to go now. It's going to go to 39. I can't believe it's took all day. This is my whole day here. I want to go back to bed now. I'm so tired. I need another cup of coffee. Here it goes. Nice call. Nice call. I'm going to give myself a round of applause for staying with the trade. Here we go. Uh, JL, yes. In a minute here. Fifty was the next number. Darn it. Boy, the market is, looks so fake out ish. Fifty-one. We could have taken half out at fifty. Because I didn't. I kind of saw this this morning because it was very wild. Let's just. I want to. I, I was thinking about getting out of half of this, and then it, I am going to soon. I think I'm going to get out of half of this soon. I think I really am. Just. Just so that no matter what happens, it doesn't matter. Um, here is the numbers. 75 was the first call. This is the one I did. And then I said 81, but I didn't do that one. Yeah, I really am going to get out of half of this soon, though, like any second here, because it's just them. <clears throat> if it doesn't break 50, I'm out of half. Just have to stop looking at it. This might take to lunch. I've got to be honest with you. Paul's going to get on to the lecture in a little bit, but this may take... This may take till lunchtime to actually go anywhere. Here it goes. It's going to try. Well, it just broke the low and it didn't fall off a planet, and it's just having a hard time. The market isn't even helping us. This had a little tiny baby move. Good good advice for me to tell Devods to get out of this today. I hope you did up at the height there. I really want to get out of half this soon. I'm trying to let it see if it goes, but I'm, I'm not letting this get over 60 again with the full position. It's just, this is just the longest trade in the planet. Is it going to fall real hard? I keep waiting. We're in the right direction. Okay, I'm out of half. I'm out of half. Get the stop in for the rest. 40.05. I'm not letting it bounce over 60. Let's just see if we should. I'm, I, you do whatever you want. I, I just, I'm not going to hold this through over 60 again. Here, 
second. Let's see if we can lower this down. I just took half and some of you already did. I think it still goes, but I'm here. Let's put it over this. 39.85. 39.85 for the rest of it. And I feel good about that. We'll be green no matter what. 39.85, lowered stop. And if you want to stay in the whole thing, that's fine. That's fine with you. It's after 10.15. I just made a decision. It's done. So I have half of it left and we lowered the stop. Do whatever you want. Target is still $39. Looks great. Nothing wrong with it. It's just taking a long time. And it, this, this trade will now will take to get down there till lunchtime. I, I know it. So it's a break, people. All right, let's go over everything. See, look how the market isn't going anywhere. Oh, my Lanta. Yep. Okay, let's go over Oracle. Let's go over Oracle. Let's talk now because about a half. So stock opened, rallied. Actually, I'm seeing this here now. It never really triggered exactly. I actually jumped the gun on this a little bit. Didn't even matter. We gave it the right stop. So 75 in here, then 81 I called. I gave the right stop 4005. Drop broke, didn't break in here. It's been struggling, 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 struggling. We hide in the right direction. Some people were going long this. Some people were going long this because it was holding this area, which was support in the daily chart. But I knew it would break it, which it did. And I still think it continues lower. But it's time of the day. Money management, 1019, Friday afternoon. Market has absolutely no directional bias whatsoever today. I got out of half. Now here this goes. Let's see. So, see, every number it's going to touch on. It's going to touch on every number that exists in here. And that's why I said it's going to take, it's going to take a couple of hours. We've already been in it for a couple of hours. We've been in it for almost one hour, but it's going to take another couple of hours. So, I would lower the stop to 39.85. Or if you want to put it at a break even, fine. If you really want to keep it over the high of the day, fine. But I think that's too much room now. Anyone have any questions about this? I didn't want to let it get over 60 with the entire position, so I chose to get out. It's still holding good, though. Has it hasn't actually gotten over 60. I'm not saying that it does, but it looked like it might flurry over it. And let's look at the market. Market is not going anywhere lower because it's too strong. But this is very hard to read. Very strange, very hard to read, and very difficult. And after yesterday, everyone thought probably definitely higher, and then woke up this morning, saw the gap down. Again, another fake out, another fake out coming in here. Very hard to read, but I know we're higher. When, I don't know. When, I don't know. The longer it takes, the longer it takes. It's just what it is. But I'm not in anything overnight right now, so it doesn't really matter to me. And luckily, I didn't call any of these things. Do you see how, I mean, Baba did go, but I would have never known this would run up $5 in three days. But I'm telling you, you know, you see these other things here. This is just, you know, you, you wouldn't know. You didn't get any help really from the market this week. A little bit yesterday, but not really. You can't really call stuff just because it's in support. That's not the reason I make the option calls. I make them based on gas. I make the calls on the options based on gas. I make the calls on the day trades based on gas too. And so, you know, if I don't see it, I can't make it up. And I really wasn't sure what Oracle would do on the gas and the earnings. I thought it might get up. I thought it might. So that's why I didn't do anything with it because it wasn't sure. And then it got down. So then we did it. I mean, we're in it or you're out of it or you're in some or whatever. But I wasn't sure what this would do in the earnings. So I just let it be. And look, it got down. Does anyone have any questions here about anything at all? I'm just looking here at the previous question. I put the numbers in for Oracle. Lower stop now should be 39.85. Do whatever you want with it, but you're going to be sitting here a long time. Ask me questions now if you have any questions about the class this weekend. If you're new in here in the trial and you're interested in signing up, today is the last day. If you have questions, ask me now. Paul's going to get on to his lecture soon. You're on your own with the rest of this, but I think you should be out of some of it. A third, a half, something. I did a good job this week directing you and for myself. Here, there are just lifted over 60. Hi. This is really taking a long time. Uh, tonight, this afternoon, either early this evening or late afternoon, Ranch Trader. Everyone's quiet as a mouse. Let's see what's out next, just to get excited, if we feel like it. Uh, 
says next week, the 19th. And don't forget the options class is next week too, everybody. Some of you already signed up. I don't know if some of you wanted to still, but if you want to, email me today about that. Next week is Adobe. Oh, let's look at Adobe today. BBBY, my favorite. I'll look at that in a minute, uh, Linda. Tuesday and Wednesday is the option class. BBBY is not looking good here. <laughs> this is looking good. Wow, this is not looking good at all. So this is a watch for next week. Adobe. I don't have a read on this at all either. Well, we'll see. Okay, uh, question is, Targle, uh, targets, targles, targles and oracles, um, 39. If it breaks 39, it can go to any any number below 30, 39. The, the, but I mean, really, obviously you have to look at where we're at with timing. So it's 10.30. The market isn't helping us whatsoever in either direction, long or short, okay? Here's where we're looking to get it to drop. If this doesn't get down here till late, chances are this is all it's going. I mean, this could even be an all-day play. I highly doubt I could see myself in this all day. That would be probably very illogical for me, but if this may take past lunch, you know, you got you to gotta decide. It's taken a long time. But all those targets are right for any woman. It's just that I don't know when this even goes to 39. If it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that may be it. CNQ. Any other questions for me? Because Paul's going to get on soon. And I don't know if he did Oracle or not. He can talk about it. I don't like these things. I wouldn't do anything with this. I don't know why you're looking to do anything at all after you made money in Oracle. I wouldn't do anything. It's 1026 and no one should be taking any new trades. And this didn't work. That was good to tell you to stay away from that one. All right. And this looks fine. It looks like it wants to keep going. But I'd be out of half, which is a decision I made. It did flip over. 60, but came back down around and held, and we lowered the stop to 85. Some trades go full on big very quickly. Some take a little while. Some are baby. Some are medium. Some are big. So, work a good trade. Just taking his time. Yep. Any questions from anyone about anything? Everybody's up to date on what's going on. So, Paul sent the password out usually on Sunday for the room. Classes this weekend for new people if you want to take it. You get the options class for free. Today's the deadline to sign up. If you're already signed up as a retake, you can get the information this afternoon or tonight. If you want to sign up for a retake, just email me. If you want to do the options thing, it's class. It's Tuesday and Wednesday. Paul's teaching it Tuesday. I'm talking about the options chain Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to get next week. I know there's some big names next week. I don't know if I'll have a million things next week. We're probably looking for really like the early end of September, early October to get lots and lots and lots of things to do. So we're going to be very picky and very careful until then. Not that I'm not, but you know what I mean? All right. Good job, everyone. Email me or call me if you need anything. Thanks for coming. And I'm just going to stay with this. We lowered the stop, so no one should be sweating the bullet over it anymore. But it's